What's up guys, we're back with One Day at a Time. In today's video, I'm gonna do a uh, remake of uh, one of my first video that I did when I started blogging. That's about, uh, I said roughly about 15 months ago since I started to decide to uh, start blogging. Again, this video is about um, me doing a tour of my um, entertainment room, man cave, karaoke room, whatever you wanna call it. So all right, so let me take you there. Alright, so I have gone down to the entertainment room. It's located in the basement. So right now I have everything off. I wanted to show you guys the raw footage. Uh, pretty much, I'm gonna call it party mode on and party mode off. So right now the party mode is off and this is what it looks like. And then after I show you that, give me about five minutes. I'm gonna go turn all the light switches, all the entertainment and um, go on from there. Anyways, I'm gonna do that now. Fake aquarium. Uh, it looks plain and simple right now because like I said, it's party mode, uh, it's party mode off. This uh, the laser rack. That's gonna look amazing later on when we uh, shut off all the lights and turn on the laser. Speaker, wall rack, um, liquor shelf. Like I said, this time around, um, I'm much better with the camera steadiness and I'm still working on my speech, but compared to 15 months ago, it's a lot better. I stutter less and uh, using a lot of um, uh, and uh, and uh, type of sound less. This is another laser rack right here. And previously, I do not have this system right here. It's the ductless AC and heat system. It helps a lot because uh, in this room, when you have 30 to 40 people, it's very hot. Heat is never really needed. Again, and this panel right here, it wasn't here 15 months ago. I installed it, I believe, about maybe six months ago. Again, I don't want to stress this uh, video out too long, so I'm gonna do everything as brief as possible. And uh, here it is. Also, this is a new addition to this entertainment room. It wasn't here 15 months ago when I did the first video. Game room, again, this is with all the lights off, party mode off, connect four, air hockey, combo game package, it comes with 1200 games, pretty much any game you can think of is in there, other than all this modern game on the computer, Ninja Turtle, and then Street Fighter I have upstairs, which you saw earlier. All right, so now I'm gonna turn party mode on, and I'll get back to you in five minutes. So this is roughly about three minutes later. So this is what it looks like. Right now, party mode is on. We got the smoke coming out. All the LED lights on, all the lights on. The um, entertainment system is on. It's on um, double screen. So right now, why don't I give you guys a tour without me talking, and then after that, I'm gonna go over with you guys with my uh, vocal on explain as much as possible and give you guys a little bit of information or history on uh, each and every item uh, to my best ability. Alright, so I'm gonna start off with the game room.
And so as you enter, you see the jellyfish aquarium. Obviously it's fake, but it looks super real. Every, I mean, 80% of my guests think they're real. They always ask, is it real? How do I feed them? But um, they're fake, but it looks super, super real. That's what is cool about it. And uh, I think other than the sound system and the liquor collection, this is probably the next expensive thing because each of this thing costs uh, 60 bucks and I have six times two right here, so 12 and then like three of them broke. So I bought like about 15 of these so you can do like 16 multiplied by 50, whatever that is. Uh, it's pretty expensive. <clears throat> but other than that, it's just, this is custom built by me. Um, so again, um, as you leave the game room to your right is the stairs. That's the entrance to this uh, entertainment room. First thing you see when you come down on the stairs is the aquarium. It's kind of like, you know, live, uh, moving, welcoming guests. It's like the wow effect when you enter the room. Everybody love it. So, and then uh, in between, I put it with the liquor collection, Louis 13 mini bottle. Right here, these go for like 600 a bottle. It's only like two shots. Tiny and uh, Hennessy XO Louis 13. They go for like 3,500 a bottle right now. So, all right. So moving along, we got the jellyfish aquarium, and then to the right of that, we got the laser rack. Cool effect. So right there. You get the full effect when the, um, but this wasn't built in one day. This is, this laser rack right here is, was uh, built over a um, long period of time because uh, originally I just bought like one or two lasers, just, you know, just being um, a beginner in the lighting, lighting game, if that's what you want to call it. And then uh, eventually I want more and more effects. So I keep on ordering. And right there, as you can see, the smoke is, the smokes are coming out. That smoke machine enhance all this laser. Without that smoke, you would not see any of this laser. Without that smoke, you can only see the, the pattern that is shoot out on the wall, which is what you see right there in the background. That is all you would see without the smoke. So with the smoke, it bring out all that laser effect. And that is also another tip for most of you because a lot of my friends don't know that as well when they come by here. They say, how come your laser have so much effect and all that beam coming out? And they buy the same exact product and they don't have that effect at home. And I tell them the secret is this smoke machine. Without the smoke machine, this, uh, all this laser right here, you're not using it, you're not using it to the fullest uh, max value or fullest capacity. Those of you who have laser at home, to bring out the best of it, to bring out the full capacity of what it can capable, what is capable of doing, you need that smoke machine. This smoke machine itself go for 300, but uh, there are a lot of versions. Some of them you can just buy for um, 100 bucks and it'll still do the same job. All right, so as we go along, we got our left speaker right here, QSC, super high quality, sound quality, sound system. That along the wall. So this right here, when I design it, I want that uh, that shelf effect to uh, just to hold the liquor in the um in the background on the wall, and then have LED like changing color around it. And then as I go along, uh, and once again, like all this wasn't built one day because I'm I'm keep on repeating it because keep on people when I post up this video on um, the first. The, when the first time I post up this video, I get this uh, question asked a lot. Even when people come by too, like how much it costs you to do this whole thing or um, how, like it's hard for me to answer that because all this wasn't done in one day and all this wasn't designed from day one. I kept on adding as I go along. Like uh, originally when I was only planning to do this wall as a liquor wall collection where I put up, um, you know, my, um, my more expensive side of the liquor. Right here, we got the left speaker and uh, more liquor collection. As you can see, the mini Louis Hennessy XO, the mini bottle, the mini bottle of uh, Johnny Walker Blue Label, mini mini version. It's tiny. Look compared to my hand. We got a couple of those. Blue label, mini version, mini Louis. 
some just Fiji water. Uh, it's there just because it uh, reflects off the LED really well, so that's why I put it there. Not that it's like some holy water or it costs a lot or anything. It just um, it bounces off the lights really well. <clears throat> and as you wrap around the wall, we got. Uh, so pretty much this is just the liquor collection, uh, some soju, some soju right here, uh, Korean, just soft core, not expensive anything, it's like $5 a bottle, but again, it just um, lights well, it, it just uh, light up well with the LED, so that's why I put it, another mini blue label right there, and I don't know why this light's not on, so this is how you turn it on right here. There you go. I didn't. Even, uh, I, I did not notice that I wasn't on the whole time. But yep, that's how you turn it on. It lights up all the bottle. Add more effect to the wall. And some more. Louis thirteen right here. Big bottle, small bottle, empty bottle. Martel XO. Some uh, empty cases. And over here. It's the sound system. Sound ultra ultra good, and uh, I don't like again. I don't want to have the sound on and interfere with my talking. I would probably turn it on after work. Actually, let me turn on something on YouTube. I have it on. Um, uh, uh, I have it on split screen. So whatever we're gonna see, we're gonna see on double screen over here as you wrap around the wall. But anyways, let me put something on the screen that won't violate our uh, copyright because that's what that because that was the problem the first time around when i have music in the background like random youtube video in the background where it uh, violate the copyright i don't want to do that this time around over here another laser rack this was my previous rack until i upgraded into uh, the other one which is this this is more like club professional looking and uh, again, all this wasn't done uh, or designed from day one. It kept on developing as I go on. All right, so uh, as you can see, I just put on something on YouTube. It's just uh, another, another video of mine working on the man cave. So again, for you, those of you who want more detail on how to do the panels or how to build the um, game room or have idea or use some of my idea in your um, version of your man cave there are video available I post it up on YouTube uh, so this is the sound system this is what it sounds like so when the panel come home so this is what it sounds like when the music is on and then the third panel which is on the remaining empty wall to the left right now of the video uh, and yeah by the way the, um, the white painting that you see right there that, that is just a coat of priming so uh, I prime it so just to prepare for the real coat of paint later on and uh, yeah the original plan was to do a black uh, framing color but uh, as you can see Alright, so uh, yeah, I mean, you won't be able to hear me if I have the speaker blasting, so I'm going to turn that off, but that's how you turn it on. This whole room sound system is controlled with this mixer right here. Make uh, karaoke, uh, microphone, speaker, bass. So as you go along to the right, there's another speaker right here. You can barely see it because it's uh, camouflaged through the black wall. So that's the right speaker, and this, um, I mean, I got to find the control, but this stand right here, the speaker stand and the laser light stand, those are LEDs are built in, it, it also lights up. I can't find the control right now. As you wrap around the wall, we got another panel, long panel. Like I said, this is probably the most plain panel looking in the room. Uh, Cause like I said, uh, you when you build something or when you design something, you don't want to really overwhelm the room or overwhelm the design. So I figure I have this one just sitting here playing. I mean, even if I want to do more to it, there's really not much more I can do other than adding a uh, maybe two shelf right here and add more liquor collection. But again, this, uh, I have this um, system built on a uh, split screen. You can do that with a HDMI splitter and then add your Chromecast to it. 
and then just uh, and then split it to both TV and then you're gonna have the double screen so when people are singing in here you can just look any direction and you can see the uh, lyrics that way you're not limited to one direction so no matter which side of the table you be sitting you're gonna see the uh, lyrics and as we go over here there's really not much to it other than it being a um, mini fridge down here this is where you grab all your drinks and then in here it's just just more messy stuff LED lights, shot glass, light bulb, paper towel, uh, wine glass, shot glass, uh, the nozzle for the, um, the liquor bottle, more shot glass, plenty. Okay, we got more suju, plenty, plenty. We never, we never in shortage of drinks here. Beer, liquor, suju, red wine, whole nine yard. Uh, same thing with supplies. We got aluminum tray, uh, bowls, plate, uh, drinking game, propane, and and then yeah i mean the bathroom but so this is the bathroom on a party mode on it lights up also and it's also connected to the speaker so in here you can just uh if you want while you using it you can connect your bluetooth just turn it on just look for the speaker signal and you can blast the music and amazingly this speaker sounds great like the bass the sound quality is very pure that's about it. I mean, bathroom, not much to say about it. And then as you wrap around, this is the, it's the last panel. This is probably the, the, yeah, the latest. This is probably the latest addition to the, um, to the project. And I also did a video on it, uh, on how to build a wall panel with LEDs. So again, after I built the game room, I still have extra tile, extra wood. I didn't really want to go return it. It's a lot of work. Uh, just loading up the car, getting in line and all that stuff. So I figured I brought all the extra um, all the extra supplies from the game room out here and I just put it up and built an extra panel. You know, same thing. Wood panel, uh, tile, wall tile, and then add LEDs. And on the on the control, like I said, you can uh, you can change the mode, change the color, see blue, red orange yellow white and then music mode where it would just pick up your sound like i'm talking to jump see see that very very sensitive so when the music is on this thing is going crazy so most of the time i don't have it on music mode because it just make people dizzy so i just set it to either one color or, or slowly fading but uh yep so that's the last panel that will wrap up this room I'm not sure how long the video is already, so I'm gonna wrap up this video. And this is me building the game room. I'm not making it up. Right there, as you can see the, um, the Mario Yoshi panel right there that you saw earlier, that's me making it. So if you wanna go back and watch it and uh, have an idea how it was made, it, it is available. So there it is, this is what you see on uh, the screen outside. This is how it was built, and as of right now, the light is um, Set on uh, vocal mode where it's picking up my sound. That's why the light keep on touching. So one last tour before I wrap up this video. All right, that is it, guys. Peace out.